The Bishop Alexander Carter Golden Gators are practicing indoors again. It's too wet outside. Hands back, there you go. But nothing can dampen the enthusiasm of this ball team. Practices so far have been really intense, um, and no, I've been having a lot of fun. This is the first year boys high school baseball is being sanctioned by NASA, and experienced players, eager to represent their schools, help to recruit newcomers. Well, a lot of us are friends, so we just talked to them, got them pumped up to play baseball, told them it's going to be fun, go to OFSA, go to Toronto if we win it. Jean-Gilles Larocque is the Gators head coach and lead convener. He says almost 30 players initially signed up for the team, though that number dropped. So for some of them that just played house league, it's kind of, well, this is a little too much for me. But if they just simply come out, and that's what some of these guys are doing, coming out, and they're just getting better every single day. They, they honestly are. The inaugural season of high school baseball has been cut short because of the long winter. It will begin and end with the NASA championship tournament at the end of this month. But LaRocque says the plan is to have league games in future years. I honestly feel the buy-in from the other school boards already has already got the ball rolling with that. Even new players like Dylan Martell say the game plan is to come back next season. I would have thought of uh, baseball as more like a slower sport and stuff like that, but after coming out here for the Braxes and stuff like that, it's a lot more exciting than I thought it was. The first ever NASA baseball tournament will be held May 26th and 27th in Sudbury. Lee Boyajan, CTV Sports, Hanmer.